Hey everyone, welcome to the uh, October play, I guess you can say. I am your host and player, Thalaman, and I'll just let this play for itself. And this, my friends, is Kagero. Yes, 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 last year I did uh, one shot of Deception 3. This time, well, let's look at the controls for the game, see if it's any different. Hey, Dead or Alive and Monster Rancher. What do you know? Maybe I'll watch those later. But, uh, that's real, real later. Okay, uh, what's the difference in type here. I, I really want to know. Uh, but yeah, no, that's the camp. Everything is pretty much the same as the last one. Research enemy. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm... Yeah, those are all good. Yeah, alright. New game. Here we go. Name of her. Millennia. Nah, not gonna be for me. Um. Ah, this has got to be one of the worst name entry screens I've ever seen. Because you gotta actually move the arrow and then delete. It's not gonna actually fall back in, or you can't just delete backwards. Oh, it wraps around too. What do you know? I should have guessed. All right. Uh, I shall name her Reyna, and one person shall probably get a small kick out of that if she were to ever watch. These music cues and random pauses must just be part of the game, I suppose. There is a, spe a special immortal species with pearly blue skin and blue blood called Timenoids. The Timenoids are superior to humans in every way. Eons ago, when humans were feral and lived in chaos, the Timenoids shared their wisdom and ways. Humans were grateful and respected the Timenoids for enriching their lives. Thus, the Timenoids gained power naturally. 
Most humans were contented with their newfound peace and believed it would last forever. Once again, I'm not going to be doing my bad voice acting, but uh, well, it may come in every now and then, but still. If you guys want to read, read along with me. Um, put your human daughter to use, huh, okay. Uh, yes, yes, she does. Uh, wow. So immortality is not a key for her, supposedly. But yeah, no, this game has different branches that you can choose and different ways that you can play it. Uh, okay, it's the same way you play, but still, there's different different aspects to everything. And... get ready. Alright, here's the menu screen. Alright, also, this is the first time I've ever really played this game. I've played Deception 3, as you know. Um, and let's take a look at our enemy. A village man recently wed in bliss to sweet Lalia. Wow. I've got to kill a newlywed. Great. Let's look at the traps then. I have slow gas, mega rock, press wall. Can I just. Okay, I wanted to select it. It already is selected. Alright. Arrow wall, arrow slit, or press wall, arrow slit, bear trap, and small bomb. Uh, exit, reset, everything's fine. Um, let's see, trap data, this basically just explains what I can develop and, okay. Uh, huh. Flash bomb and landmine, heavy claw. Okay. Trap make. I have no arc, so I cannot make any traps. Fair enough. Well, let's go. An innocent girl. Yeah, what about the rights of that little girl? Sorry. Yeah. <sighs> wow, the time noids are being persecuted. Really, I think it's just they're trying to call the herd. Ah, uh, this is an altar, and that is a one time health regen. Hopefully I won't need it that much. No, it's just the basic tutorial of traps. I prefer the trap license in uh, Deception 3, Dark Delusion. But, yeah. Overall, so far, it's pretty good.
Yes, I know there are various trap combinations. And they're not even subtle about this. Take care in battle. This is literally just saying, kill this man in cold blood. Ah, uh, crap. Why did I even grab that? And it shattered. Okay, uh, let's go and look at the trap screen. Well, first I gotta get through here. I got used to playing, like, Fatal Frame, which I'm doing now, too. Um, I can't record it, sorry. Okay. Okay. He asked if I could call someone for him, huh? Well, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna try and push him into the fireplace. I'm gonna just place it underneath him. Because, well, this is the trap screen anyway. Uh, just looking around, you can rotate the thing, of course. And now, arrow split or push wall. Push wall. Just gonna try and push him down into the fireplace. I can't set a rock there. So I'll just set the slow gas over here. And I'll set the bear trap. Now, I can't attack yet. Now. Slow gas first, bear trap, 13 damage from the bear trap, and then the wall does 2 damage, and he falls, but does not end up in the fireplace, damn it! Now, let's see where he's gonna go, because he should be trying to attack me now. Okay. Bear trap over here because I know the way he's gonna go. Uh, press wall is just gonna be an arrow slit. Hopefully, I can hit him. And now, Mega Rock because Mega Rocks roll downstairs. And X. That's 12 damage. That missed? Damn it. Mega Rock before he lets go. And yay, he is dead. I mean, well, yeah, no, it's yay, he is dead. Uh, poor Dar. And I am being praised for killing an innocent man. Not just an innocent man, but an innocent and unarmed man who did not even try to fight and was trying to flee. But hey, I got paid for it. I'm not going to uh, complain. Alright, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. This guy's name is Slash, and he is a mercenary. He is going to be the first armed guy I face, but it doesn't look like he wants to be the first armed guy I face. He hasn't returned from the castle? No. Otherwise, why would he... Yeah, you're... Ugh. You're a guy. Let's look at enemy data. Let's look at Slash. Okay, he has 80, 90 health, and decent attack power. Fair enough. Save. And, you know what, it's not been that long, so, yeah, let's keep going. Let's do up to two, maybe three missions in this one. Because it's inaugural, and I just want to. It's a fun game.
I don't know why, but I really like using the traps. It's it's really just fun to me. This is the castle where he visited. Yeah. Okay, she wants to go in and he just insists on not. Ha <laughs> ha. Money's only as good or as good as you know, you're alive to spend it. And um here we go. I don't know. Well, trap set then. Of course, bear trap. I'm gonna use the bear trap. It does not the best damage, but it does good damage. Uh, press wall, I guess. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I should do here. Although, I could combine Press Wall and Mega Rock. Yeah, I'll just use Aeroslit. It'll be easier. Yeah, well, and you leave that there. Put the Bear Trap there and uh, the Mega Rock here. Okay, let's try and get him caught in the bear trap. Alright. The arrow hit him. Not the bear trap. Ow. Bear trap reset. Reset. No. Well, I'm not going to get a perfect on this one. Um, okay, just follow me. Follow me. And... Everything is alright. Yeah! Now die. Damn it, you didn't die. Okay. Where am I going now? Uh, slow gas. Okay. And bear trap, I'm relocating you. And push wall. For pushing over this column. The amazing things that you learn in Deception 3. Slash not actually, uh... Wanting to be where he is, I already know. And I don't know if I get a combo for this one. I should, but the first thing's first, I should actually. Yeah, come on. Come on. I should probably set off the slow gas first. Then get him into the bear trap. And then hit the press wall. Maybe I just want to get the bear trap. Ah, well, it don't matter. I'll just hit him with the uh, with the trap in the dress wall. There, slow gas. Now he's in the bear trap, and here comes crashing down. Yeah. There we go. Slash is dead. Yeah, she just leaves to get another person to try and do her dirty work. Perfect genocide, though. Crushed by Pillar. That's another thing that I'm going to be doing, is I'm going to be looking at um, the death screens of all the characters. Even though I know how they died, 
it's still fun just to look at how the game tells me they died. Alright. Enemy data. Hawk the soldier and Gaston Crusher. Alright. Ronnie, childhood friend of Slash, a bit antisocial. Oh, okay, they actually say something. Should have been reading those anyway. Mentored by Slash and Gaston, precise, loyal, and dedicated. Okay, now it's time to save. And now, let's make some traps. I mean, why not? I mean, I've got the arc now. I've got more than enough. How long have I been playing? Eh, it don't matter. It was only ten minutes at the last one. That last thing didn't take too long. Trap make. Alright. Let's go for... What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Ooh! Spike rock! Let's get it! Spike rock! 75 damage? Yeah, that's kind of worth it. But, uh, let's see, anything else, anything else? Uh, attack wall's not bad, just, no, I can't use it. Yeah, it's heavy claw, that's gonna be okay. But yeah, spike rock. It's the most damaging thing I can get right now. Um, ooh, new animation. The trap making system in number three is uh, so much more in depth than this, but this is actually pretty good. Uh, let's see. Fire arrow? Yeah. Let's get a fire arrow. Nothing wrong with a fire arrow. I need to actually try and use the face. That one requires a direct timing, and it's going to be a huge arc magnet. But first, the Heavy Claw, because the Heavy Claw is going to be restraining them a little bit longer and doing more damage than the other one. And that's all I can make for now. And they're already equipped. Okay. Good to know. The spike rock's only 75, and yeah, well, it's still 75 as opposed to 70. Pursuit of Friends. And. Here we go. Come on and get me. Okay, press O now that I've got a view on the room. Okay. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just put the heavy claw out. Drop a spike ball on his head and hit him with an arrow. Or a fire arrow. Okay, let everything charge up. Hopefully, he'll fall right into my trap. Yes, I murdered Flash. Heavy Claw. Fire Arrow. Spike Rock. And you have now been injured quite a bit. And... You are dead. I love the way that rolled back and hit him.
That was technically a four hit combo, but it only counts as three because the guy got up after the third hit. Yes, I have killed your friend. Actually, I've killed two of them. Uh, okay. Heavy Claw, Spike Rock, still out, so uh, I can't move it. Um, what am I doing? Let's just get out of here. Okay. Let's go to a different room. This guy should be easy, I know where he's coming from. Um, ooh, I got an idea. Let's push him downstairs. Press wall. Haha. <laughs> okay. And heavy claw. And a small bomb. Small bomb will throw him farther. And mega rock. Yeah, let's do it here. Uh Spike Rock. Right here. That'll work. He should go flying this way. Now, let's see how I'm doing. Come on, come on, get into the room. Okay, there you are. Walk in front and gotcha. Got you again. Uh, you flew the wrong way, you bastard. That would have been it, too. That would have been a good hit. Next time, I know where to put the spike rock. But, right now, let's just get out of the room. Set up a different room. See another room of the place. See what I can do here. Okay, trap sets. Ooh, there's a swinging claw. So, with the bear trap or the heavy claw, I should be able to hit here. Uh, fire arrow to hit him there. Small bomb? Nah. Heavy claw right here. Okay, Mega Rock, here, um, press wall behind the Mega Rock. Now, if this works, which it really should, he should be able to fall, or be hit by the, uh, or you should get hit by the, uh... Okay. Yeah. He didn't actually get hit by the, uh... Thing at all. No. That didn't work out anywhere near what I planned. Ooh, an electric chair. I remember this. I can push him into it. Okay, bear trap. Right by the wall. Slow gas. Now let's just put the press wall. That'll push him into the chair. And slow gas to do the rather. Hmm. Yeah. Slow guess to do the rest. Turn around. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, you didn't. Didn't work. Ah, it missed. How did it miss? 
Oh well, I've got this on standby, so it all works out. He's gonna die in the same place as his friend. Let's move the air. Let's not actually have the exact same place, because he's gonna be coming in through the side here. So let's just have him get up and follow me here. He's gonna get hit with the heavy claw, then the fire arrow, and then the spike rock. And after this, it, uh, it's been going on way too long. This one took a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, come on, come on, hurry up. Good. Get him, fire arrow. Yeah! 50 damage. 153 arc. I know, I'm trying to get a little bit more fancy with my stuff. And next time I know for that uh, wall combo that he's going to fly back towards the fucking wall, so I'm going to just drop a rock on top of him. Yeah. They're expecting me to betray them? Wow. They must not know me too well. I think I'm going to go for the evil ending in this one. And yes, this is a new LP for everything, all intents and purposes. Especially throughout uh, October. October's just the prime time to actually spring it on you guys. And no, I'm not reviving my LSD thing because that was crap and nobody watched it. Mission 3 clear. Yes. Now, let me... Perfect genocide. Ooh, 3,000 arc. Well, they were both killed by spike rocks. <sighs> I gotta go to next mission, and I'll save there. So let's watch this cutscene while we have it. Oh, my least favorite people. The crossbow people. These are the people that really need things like the slow gas and the vase. And timing on the vase is weird. Okay. Here you go. This is it. Later, guys.